Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 10, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we are continuing with the Test Taker database that we started in Access Developer Level 9. So if you haven't taken Level 9 yet, then I strongly recommend you get that class first and watch Level 9 because Parts 1 through 4 of building this database are covered in Level 9. And whether or not you're going to be building a test in your uh, personal or business endeavors, there's a lot of techniques and tricks and tips and stuff covered in this database that uh, will be of use to everybody. And of course, I recommend you've taken all of my classes, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. There are lots of different lessons, and I suggest all of them, of course. Each series has multiple levels. This is level 10 of the developer series. The sample databases can be found at this page if you want to pick up where I left off at the end of developer 9. The test taker database um, parts 1 through 4 can be found at this page. You'll, of course, need your password. Everything today should work with pretty much every version of Microsoft Access. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to officially support 2007 to 2016. I'm, of course, using 2016 with Office 365, but I think everything I covered today will work with every version of Access going back to at least 2003, maybe 2002. Let's now take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In Lesson 1, we're going to continue the test taker database that we started in Developer 9. This is Part 5. And in this lesson, we're going to make a series of queries that will give us a list of the questions that have not been answered yet for the particular test being taken. In lesson two, we're continuing the test taker. We're going to set up the form so we can click the begin test button and it's going to actually go out, look at the list of questions that have not been answered and pull in the question data. In lesson three, we're at test taker part seven. Now we're gonna actually put the question and answers up on the screen we're going to write code so that when you pick an answer and submit it, the system can save that in the table and figure out if it's right or wrong and then move on to the next question. In lesson four, we're going to finish up today with the test taker part eight. We're going to calculate the grade and store the results in the test result table.